There's never enough natural light for this camera, I swear. Which is why I own the studio lights. What's good, internet? The day has finally arrived to build the portable, perplexing pixels PC. And if you're new here, that might not make much sense, but if you've been here for a long time, you've heard me say over and over again that, man, my PC, not very portable. It's a little hefty, don't you know? And therefore, after the last upgrade, I've taken those old parts, plus some new parts, and I can finally build something I can bring over to Grimm's house, to my grandparents, to wherever I need to film videos. And so, the parts I brought over from the old build here, we have an ASRock Intel board with a 5820K CPU in there, some case fans, an EVGA 750 watt power supply, and most importantly, one of the hardest to find parts would have been a GeForce video card, a 1070, which right now on eBay sells used the same price I bought it for new five years ago. But what I did buy to finish up this build, we have some G-Skill RAM here, 16 gigs of that. We got the standard half terabyte uh, SSD. Honestly, I could have gone with an M2, but this board is so old, it's not really gonna matter. Of course, a copy of Windows, which honestly, is it's not gonna have a TPM, so I'm not gonna be able to get to 11 next year, but hey, whatever. I have a low profile CPU cooler, and most importantly, this Grandia GD09 HTPC home theater PC case, which is obviously much smaller than that case over there. And if you're wondering just how much smaller, here is a brief size comparison on the two. And I know what some of y'all are thinking. There are definitely smaller PC cases out there. Here's the thing. I didn't want to buy another motherboard and another CPU. So I had this full-sized ATX board and I needed a case small enough to fit it and also get everything in there and work properly. Now, obviously I could have spent way more on way smaller parts for a powerful, tiny PC. But here's the thing. If we're playing a AAA video game, it's going to be on PS5 or Xbox Series X. But there are a large number of indie games out on the PC that I want to show Grim or Grandpa or whoever, and I already have parts, so why not just make what I make with the parts I already have? And I'm sure someone's gonna say, well, this seems still kind of unwieldy and too big to really carry, but I solved that. For a mere 15 bucks on Amazon, uh, we got a handle. We're good. And so here is the space in which I have to work and fit all of this stuff into this space and cable managing and all that other fun stuff here we're gonna do here. And honestly, that does not need to be in the video because it's kind of a just regular boring PC build. So I'll see you here when it's just about done. Okay, first time doing a low profile cooler, but I got it in there. Made it work, made it happen. Ram's got plenty of clearance, no issues there. And yes, now that has to go inside of that. The important stuff is now in the machine. And so now it is just, hey, get it all wired up, hope that it posts, and then install a copy of Windows and we'll be good to go. Fingers crossed. And so we reach the million dollar question before I actually get things all sealed up here. And that is, will it post. Oh, we got fans spinning. We got the red light there. I'm going to turn on this monitor and we're going to see, do I get a BIOS on this TV? Look at that. It posted. We got a BIOS. Hell yeah. I currently don't have the hard drive plugged in, so it's just going to do that. But yes, it is functional with uh, 16 gigs of RAM. But, 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 that fan's not spinning, that one is, and that fan's not spinning. So I clearly have not plugged things in to this thing properly. So I did run into an issue here in that the orientation of my cooler means that the bracket here for the hard drives is not gonna fit how it's supposed to fit. But because I'm not using any big hard drives, it's kind of not a problem. It's kind of kind of put the SSD over here, kind of behind these wires. It's not, it's not going anywhere, man. So that should be fine in theory. 
We'll see. And there you have it, folks. The Perplexing Pixels PC, only slightly heavier and larger than the PS5, but not by much, honestly. And the final touch on the front here, we have a video effing games sticker merch link in the description. And so the portable Pixels project is complete. Like I said, not that much bigger than a PS5. I'm a tax lug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here on this channel. More PC stuff coming to Pixels real soon. Tune in for those. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.